we are certainly being challenged right to our very deepest and core beliefs right now. The channel that Archangel Michael gave for February spoke of the beginnings of these deep changes, as we transform the earth into an abundant and sacred home for all. But, as usual, in this work of the light, we are being asked to let go of what no longer serves us and make way for the new. Releasing old patterns and making way for the new. I know many of you are feeling the pressure in physical ways, as I receive letters from people describing what they are feeling. Well, yes, me too, I have been moving through a very difficult time with someone that I love very deeply, so we are all being asked to rethink and rebirth in order to be in the new energy. I think, as we approach the new moon, this time of seeding the new is particularly intense. So, what is the new, you might ask? Well, as I see it, based on what Archangel Michael has given, we are moving from an economy based on money, to an economy based on love. And in this process, we will make the earth a sacred home once again. In the old earth of the third dimension, we were connected by money and trade and work. Now, in this new fifth dimensional earth, we are connected globally by love and past Zion and joy, that is our new economy. There is nothing wrong with money and trade, and in this transitional period we will continue to use money and trade, but the focus must change. We must begin to see abundance in terms of unconditional love and our passion, to create peace and love on the planet. This is the fifth dimensional reality. Last night I woke up feeling shaky and nauseous, and then went back to sleep. I then had a very intense dream. I was living in an old Victorian house. It was very beautiful, with high ceilings and wooden floors, and I was very happy there, but the house was full of boxes of junk that I had accumulated and kept meaning to throw out but never managed to get to. Then, all of a sudden, a whole bunch of people took over my house, declared it a national monument and set up one of those trendy tourist shops in my front room. I was furious, I began screaming at them to get out, and of course they all scattered. But the moment I turned my back, back they were. I was just overcome with anger. Of course, on some levels it was quite funny, but to me the house was the earth and my life. I had been very happy with my life even though there was lots of junk in boxes, I was basically able to live in peace and happiness. It was the world of my childhood, where I ignored the junk and just saw the beauty of what the past had given me. But then, the economy took over the world, and everything was about money and making money, and it was impossible to live without money as a central focus in your life. Everything had changed, it was time for some serious clearing and cleansing, and a new approach to home. My anger in the dream reminded me of the only time, I think, in the Bible where Jesus is recorded as having lost his temper and become angry and violent. Yes. He did. Do you remember the incident where the money changers came into the temple and he overturned their tables and threw them out for defiling the house of my father? Hmm. There is a place for everything, and it seems that money has defiled sacred space, and needs to be returned to its place and we need to return the earth to sacred space in our own lives. How can we do this? Well, it requires a change of focus. We have to move into fifth dimensional focus and see love as our abundance and the earth as a sacred space. In this new reality, money takes its place as a means of exchange and not the center of life. In the sacred earth, the exchange of love and passion is more important than any other exchange for this is the currency of the fifth dimensional economy. So many people write to me and ask about their abundance and what they need to do to be abundant, and what they mean is how they can make more money. Of course, the house is full of people who will offer to make money for you, show you how to make it, and how to invest and spend it, in the name of abundance. But this is not sacred space. Sacred space is where love and passion and peace and joy are the most important things in your life. They are the reflection of your God Self. So, when you look to see your abundance, then don't look at money. Look at the love and joy in your life. If you are low on that, you will probably be low on everything else, including money. If your life is filled with love and passion, then you will have the abundance of a king or queen. I had a lovely letter from a couple in Australia yesterday, 
telling me about their new earth life and the way that they live in Queensland. They have embraced the idea of the new earth and created sacred space in their home and garden, and they fill it with joy. The writer, Kate, said to me that she has always found that when times get difficult, the best thing to do is to focus on gratitude. In the third dimension, we tend to focus on what we do not have, in the fifth dimension we know that love is the only reality, and so we are filled with gratitude for all that love gives to us on so many levels. And so, as the old economy crumbles away, the new economy will be ever more important in our lives. And, as we clear out the junk and the boxes full of stuff that we don't need, on all levels, then we will create sacred space on the planet once again. We will cease to associate abundance with how much stuff we have, and focus on creating home as a sacred space. I sat in my garden this morning and enjoyed the love and abundance that flowed. Although it is still very hot, the seasons are changing and the leaves are beginning to fall. As a result, a pair of thrushes has come into my garden. They are comfortable with me, and I sat and watched them for half an hour as they scratched in the leaves and tossed the leaves around and chased each other. I felt truly abundant with the gifts of nature that are right outside my front door right now at this moment. What a true and sacred joy. And, finally, here is a link to a website called The Gaia Project, that was sent to me this week. The site is a great idea, focused on bringing people together for sacred occasions. But, what I love most is the 7-minute video they have on the sacred earth and what they call the Gaia field, and the creation of peace. At this time of change, please take some time to just enjoy this beautiful work of art.